Good morning team, welcome to my first ever competitive round on the channel. Today we're heading back to a course that we've actually played before on the channel, which is the first time we've done that. We are going to Mill Green. We've been invited as a guest to get involved in a stable food competition. I'm going to be playing off 10 today, so this is going to be really, really tough. Haven't been playing anywhere near my handicap recently, but if we want to get in amongst the prizes, then we're going to need to. Let's get over to the course, get on that first tee box and hit our first shot. Feels good to get off to the mark, doesn't it? All right, so the rules of engagement today, guys, are going to be a stable food competition. I am playing off 10 today. We're playing off the whites here at Mill Green. If I could shoot 36 points, uh, that'd be out of control. I haven't really shot anywhere near my handicap for a while, living off some pretty good scores from the winter and just haven't been able to get out and submit any scorecards. But this one will be going into the app. In a group of four with my brother-in-law, uh, Lee and Joe. Joe is actually part of the society um, and has invited us along as guests. So nothing too serious, nothing really on the line. There are a couple of prizes for first, second. I think as a guest, I'm not allowed to win them. You know, stop those bandits. But yeah, I just thought it was a good opportunity to play under tournament conditions in one of these videos. Let's see how we get on. Unbelievably, this is actually a par five. We have 168 in with downwind, hitting an eight iron here. Skip that bunker. Stay away. Get on. Front edge. Yeah, I thought that'd go a lot further with the wind, but I mean, I guess I just didn't compress it enough, so it didn't really catch all that benefit. Got about 27 foot here. Just gonna roll it through this fringe. Oh, that never turned at all. All right, I got a lengthy birdie putt. Oh, right on the edge, all right, a par to start. Okay, not too bad. Next up we've got par three, it's 167 yards to pin. Wind is strong off the left. Stay. Wow, what? <laughs> okay, have I got the wrong club? Nope. That's strange, okay. I hit a seven and came up short of the green, so that ball's not even gone 150 yards. I'm gonna have to take more club from now. All right, not really sure how we came up 21 yards short. That is bonkers, but it is what it is. Run up. Yeah, good line, just not quite enough. All right, got a 15 footer here for par. Oh my God, I've hammered it. Blow that. That's a bogey. That puts us uh, one over through the two holes. Um, yeah, I think this wind is going to be playing more havoc than I first thought because that came up unbelievably short there. So more club when we're hitting into a crosswind. Right, next up, we've got a funny little hole here. There's water around this corner. It's extreme dog leg. Um, I've got to take a seven really, otherwise I risk getting into the water or getting into trouble. Just going to take it along the line of these trees. All right, it's not very good. Pushed it right, it'll be all right there. Yeah, just a slightly longer shot in. Okay, we've got 144 to the pin. It's actually the nearest in two hole this. So actually the closest pin mark is right at the front of the green. Got plenty of club to get there, I've got a nine iron. That should be good, just not too much. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we've missed the green. We are closer than the nearest pin, but uh, wind really grabbed it. We are downwind here, so just gonna try and knock this one on, let it roll down towards the hole. Came out a little bit more right than I wanted, but the weight is great, so can't complain. Can't, let's save a par here. I think it's definitely gonna turn a little bit. Oh, gone as well. That's the worst backstroke of my entire life, but somehow I found its way in. All right, so we need some objectives for today. So our objective is going to be score 36 points. So shoot my handicap, which we're actually currently six points through three holes. So that's not too bad. Um, and then secondly, we need to make one birdie and 
I'm also going to say two up and downs today. So miss the green, get up and down. That's going to be our objectives. This is in quite a, into quite a headwind, guys. Uh, going to hit my hybrid. Just feel like it's the the play. Just try and keep it in play because this wind is going to play havoc with anything apart from the air. Yeah, I caught that really well. I'll do. So guys, this is my brother-in-law Ian, and we have quite the rivalry. Um, and I just thought, I thought I'd just turn on the. You can't hear him. I thought I'd just turn on the camera now because he hit driver. Oh dear! And I hit hybrid. Oh dear! It, hit a divot, so it hit a divot. What sort of weak ass? What sort of weak yours ass? Hit, yours hit the that. plate. The 150 the plate. plate did it. Yeah. Okay, Ian. They can't hear you. It's too windy. 123 to the pin. Um, wind straight into face. Uh, I'm going to hit a nine iron. More club that obviously I need, but pins at the front, slope behind it, so kind of play all of that. That could be really good. That could be really good. Yep. Pin eye, happy days. 27 foot for a birdie. It's quite fast and downhill though. Oh, it's fallen low. It's not a bad putt though. Right, nice par there. Happy days. Right, got a par five here, downwind, so I'm gonna hit driver. See if we can catch one. Ah, oh, I've caught it left. Sit, sit in the bunker. Sit. Oh, it might have just crept into the trees. Oi, oi, oi. All right, it's a sad sitch, guys. Uh, run into this absolutely massive bush. Um, definitely not going to be trying to hit out, definitely going to be taking a club length. Thing is the club length puts me onto a path. This is like a cart path, I guess. Club length, inside that, little drop, looks up the knee. Yep, that's fine. Problem is we still don't have anything to work with, so I'm just chipping out sideways, really. All right, back in the fairway. Should have taken hybrid. I think it was a silly decision. It's because last time I was here, I hit a 310 bomb and I had 150 in. So I thought, like, maybe that would happen again. But it's just, I think, just too narrow, really. We now have 197 yards to the pin. We're downwind. There's a bunker in front of the green. We're going to take it out the right-hand side to take the water out of play. Um, if it draws in a little bit, that'd be lovely. Got six iron in hand. That's a good strike. Oh, what a shit kick. All right, we're just off the side. Good enough strike, can't be upset with that. All right, this is my fifth shot here. Ah, oh, it's too much, slow down. Oh no, it's not too bad. About six foot past. Oh my God, it never turned. I hit my line perfectly as well. Uh, that's a frustrating double bogey, that is. So easily avoidable as well. <laughs> Didn't want any double bogeys today. Damn, that penalty has really cost me. Got a par three here. Um, it is a 143 yards to pin. It is uphill and it is directly into wind. Although I can't feel it, the trees have actually gone dead still. No, they haven't. Right, I'm going to hit a seven. Ah, I lost it a little bit right. Yeah, all right. Oh, it might have trickled on. It might be on the fringe. Got a little one here. Just gonna try and bump it on and get it running. Oh, just underdid it a little bit. It's not terrible. Go. Oh, I just caught it. Whew. Hard iron par there. Take it. First of our two up and downs done. Not a particularly difficult one, but we'll take it nonetheless. This is probably my favourite hole on the course, guys. Um, it's a par five, quite narrow. Uh, you've got water hazards in it. It's lovely. Just don't hit it in the trees. It's very narrow. Very narrow. Oh, I've hit a little left. Go under the tree. Don't hit it. Or just stay short of it. Don't go behind it. It's hit the tree and come back. Oh, no. Right, this is never really a two-shot hole because you've got the water in front of the green, so you'd have to bring it in 
I mean, you have to hit a hell of a tee shot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bump this 7-iron down there, just control it, because you're going to have an easy shot in regardless. So no need to do anything stupid and no need to go for it. That'll run. It's not the cleanest of strikes. I really should work on that because, you know, you really want to get those extra yards in. Um, but it will work this time. Got away with it. Yeah, not the greatest luck because now I've got 152 in. Um, I'm going to hit a seven because, again, I think we're into wind. Just can't feel it down here. That's pretty good. Look at the number. Sit. Yeah, putting for a bird, guys. Don't want to say anything, but my swing feels really good at the moment. Not so much off the tee, but in general, iron striking pure. 27 foot for the birdie. Let's see if we can make it in. Slow down. Wow. Fighting for par <laughs> again. Oh, flipping idiot, Tom. That is careless, that is. Yes! Just gonna hit a five iron down there on this one, guys. There's no need to hit any more on this par four. Bunker's at 200, so I can aim straight at it, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit more left on that. Oh, sugar. Get lucky. Oh, he's lucky. Kicked out. A little bit frustrating, we've definitely not got a shot, but at least the ball's alive so that we don't have to re tee. Drop down next to this tree up here, so looks like we'll be chipping out, trying to get up and down from about 140 yards or something. Well, ooh, interesting development here. Hang on a second, so I'm on the cart path, so I get relief from the cart path. Which, um, which way can I take relief from the cart path? Guys, you can let me know down in the comment section. Just to make sure, I'm going to drop this over here. Still got my feet on the cart path. There we go. And we're going to chip out sideways. I couldn't have gone for the green anyway, so I'm not really too fast. Oh, you f idiot, Tom. What the f was that? That's pathetic. I think I've got to go for it, otherwise I'm going to get zero points here. So, I'm going to try and open up the club face and just try and turn this one in a little bit. Turn. Didn't get any other turn I was looking for. Don't go out of bounds, please sit there. I think we're okay, but okay. Ball is alive. Just <laughs> can't show you guys what's going to happen here because there's just no space to put the camera down behind me. So you're just going to see me chip out. Haven't got the best lie though. I think I'm going to stun it into the bank in front of me. Yeah, it's up there. Not bad. It might just drift, it might just dribble just left a little bit. Not a lot though. <sighs> just didn't. I think I've just got to stop playing with any break. None of them are turning. That's a bad six, that is. Poor, poor course management. Alright, par three, 160, into wind, got a six iron in hand. Hopefully it's not too much club. smothered that. Closed the club face down an absolute mile. Sit. Kin hell. Talk about getting an awful kick as well. Bad spot is for me guys. Um, my ball is on the down slope of the next tee box. Sit. It's gonna go a mile out the back that. Not really much I could do. Alright, did manage to hang on here. Got 46 foot to the pin. See if we can get it there. online sit oh that'll do we'll take a bogey considering the place I was after the tee shot all right okay uh dog leg right par five just got a rip driver over the trees because it's kind of where i'm at that's perfect that is happy days got a bit of a false front the pin this one so Gonna pick a line. Might come out a little bit. I want it to come out a little bit left because of the wind. That could be really good. 
Be really good. Sit. Oh, pose for an eagle, really close. Come on, we'll take it. Eagle three. That is the fifth eagle of my entire life, I believe. Really? So we'll take it. Short par four, it's into wind. We'll take hybrid. I think the adrenaline's probably pumping, probably put the driver about a million miles out of bounds. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, 94 yards in here. Not the longest of holes, straight into wind though, so just need to pretty much hit this full, I think. That's all right. Should be on green at least. Yeah, it's on the green. Happy days. Absolutely gassed right now. Mm. Imagine making a birdie as well off the back of that. I mean, did we check off our objective? Surely we checked off the objective of making a birdie if we made an eagle. Or maybe we just need to make a birdie as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got 27 foot here, just got it turning just slightly down to the left, but not a lot, so. There's a chance, gone low. Stop, there we go. Okay, that's a four for me. This par four is gettable, you could try and drive the green, but again, we're into wind. Um, last two times I've tried to drive it, it's not ended well for me, so I'm just going to hit hybrid straight down there. Wasn't really what I was intending, but it's worked out quite well, a little bullet hybrid. <laughs> All right, we have got 92 yards to the pin here, into wind. Not too dissimilar a shot from last time, actually. Oh, I f hit the floor first. That's the first truly horrific swing of the day. Oh, actually, no, that chip out was really bad, but that's also pretty bad. You know what, let's, silver linings. We've now got a chance of getting up and down. There you go. Okay, you're not gonna see much here, guys. Got 44 yards in to the pin. Uh, it just came out a little bit left on me. We're putting though. Slow down. Ooh, okay. Little knee knocker. There we go. That's five for me. Apologies for some of the dodgy camera work, guys. Um, obviously, making sure priority number one is to make sure that I don't distract the others who are playing. Um, kindly enough to let me film. So, yeah. But I hope you're enjoying this. I mean, good highlight so far. Love it. Interesting little par four, you could go for it, but I've tried a couple of times before and it's never ended well. There's actually a farmer's field on the right hand side, which always kind of gobbles up the old balls. So just gonna hit hybrid straight down there. Hopefully have a short one in. That feels very good. Very happy with that one. It's a little bit hard under the ball. It's gonna be difficult to get this up and over the bunker and keep it close, that's for sure. Get over. Yes. All right, that's as good as I could have done. <laughs> 18 foot for a bird. See if we can roll this one in. Okay, that too hard. There is no break in that. What on earth? And that is such a bad putt. I even said to myself, tap that softly. Bad five though, from about three inches away. <laughs> Made a bogey. That is a terrible three part, even Ian's shaking his head on that one. We've got 126 to the pin on this par three. Wind's hard left, kind of helping a little bit. I'm gonna try and maybe just like fade one in there with a pitching wedge, let it ride the wind a little. That's not a good swing. Get lucky. Hit the front, hit the front. All right, we are putting. 36 foot here, kind of down the hill. Uh, hold the line. Turn in. Oh, okay. Unbelievably, I get a shot on this hole, so that makes three points, that is. Outrageous. This is a par four I've had difficulties with in the past. There's pond at 260, so I'm gonna hit hybrid. Line is just kind of like over the hump on the right-hand side. 
quite high. Wind's gonna help it. Yep, looks good. Happy with that. Um, today we've got it with us. We've got 118 to the pin. Just gonna hit a full 50 degree. I think that's probably the play here. Oh, that's not a great swing. Get over the bunker. Please, wind, help me. Oh, just got away with it. Just about carried the bunker. Don't know where it is. Can't see it on the green, so it must be quite far away. But last time I dunked it in the pond twice, so we'll take that as a dub. Just over 40 foot to the pin here for birdie. It's uphill as well, so got to give it a few beans. Go, ball. Go, ball. Go. Oh. Weak. Gotta go drip it in for four. That's three points as well, Jesus. I'll do. It's not the best. Sit. Sit. It's all right though, I think that there's like a bush or something that kind of covers the green so you can't really see from there. Not the best shot, kind of high and spinny. I've left myself 199 yards into this pin. All right, there is no, we're into wind as well. So I'm feeling like maybe five iron will get there. It runs well. That is right on it. It's actually turning more towards the bunker. Take a good kick. Run. Oh, there's a bunker there. Oh, it's on. I think we're right, just maybe like right on the fringe, on the front edge. Because this high lit bunker in front of me, I couldn't actually see that there was another bunker right in my landing spot where I landed it. So I'm quite lucky to have cleared it and rolled on. Not a bad leave to be fair, difficult green to hit. Oh, that cake got caught up quite bad in the rough there. Not in the rough, <laughs> the fringe. Go, okay, good par that. That be longish par four. Stiff hard is on the course if you get a stroke here. I'd uh, love to make a par and get three points though. Uh, line is the pylon. It's a little left. Hopefully it's alright. Yeah, it's bouncing. Hit it quite well. You know what? Overall, very happy with the round. Obviously making an eagle really does like up the mood. My back nine's been pretty good I've made a couple of really bad errors on the back but like the front nine was where most of the damage was done I don't really know my own score because Ian is keeping it for me um, but one thing that I've been very happy with is my irons now as you know the irons are generally the worst part of my game like week in week out we see it, it's like the lowest rated part of my game um, chipping and putting is usually where I actually make up the strokes um, and that's fallen off a little bit but today it feels like I've really turned the corner with the irons and I'll tell you why it's because I haven't got a swing thought today I have got one thought in my head and that is visualization something that I'd never really done before but every time I stand over the ball I am literally looking into the sky choosing a point imagining that ball flight and then just letting my body do it just trusting that my body will do what it needs to do and I won't lie it's worked really really well it's worked really well so I want you in the comment section, if you see me having a bad iron day, I want you to remind me that my swing, swing for forever going forward should just be visualization. When you're on the course, you visualize your shots, you hit them and whatever happens, happens. Right, 150, very much downwind. Gonna hit a nine. Um, so hopefully we'll just get picked up for the wind. That's really good. Go on, ball. Go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love golf again today. I always love it, but today I'm loving it especially. 27 foot for birdie. It's be big money, this would. Go on, ball. Oh, it's a par, but it's another three points. Stuff, happy par. Last hole, par four. Just gotta make sure we don't carry it into the water down the bottom, so. Oh, that is not very good. Get lucky. Get lucky. Oh, that's gone in, isn't it? Did that go in? I'll take a provisional then. That was so good. 
<laughs> Why don't I do that the first time? All right, well, fingers crossed that we can find that ball, guys. Um, it'd be a shame, because I've had a blind in back nine. Um, yeah, but it is that time. I need you to rate my game out of 10. So I need you to rate me on getting off the tee. We'll just call it that. Uh, we'll call it approach, so irons. Uh, we've got chipping and we've got putting. Uh, chipping and putting were average today, not particularly good. And getting off the tee, three wood and hybrid were doing well. Driver stayed in the bag for a lot of it. Did hit one good one though, but then did hit one into the crap. So <laughs> give and take. And then, yeah, of course, I would say irons probably the best that I've hit them for a long time. So I'll give myself an eight out of 10 there. Eight out of 10. Um, maybe even eight and a half. We'll give ourselves eight, seven, seven off the tee, putting a six, chipping a six. <laughs> I don't know if I got up and down twice. It will be on the screen if I did. Actually, have I got a swing? No, not really. Just gonna re I'll end up just tapping it forwards. No real point. No risk in it. Right, little drop here. Yep, perfect. Oh, I pulled it a little left, but I did give myself a bit of space. Might have been the bunker. Bunker? Uh, that was probably the, one of the worst swings of the day. Ooh. Hey, I'm going to do a little uh, new little feature, guys, called uh, Ball Hunters. We'll do it every episode. So today's featured ball that we have found is this. It is a pink trust ball, Rosa. I have never seen this ball in my life. Not going to lie, I also found one of these tour responses with the orange stripe on it. That's a decent ball. Let me know if you're a ball hunter down in the comments. I think this might be our first bunker of the day as well. Just pulled it into this left-hand bunker. Um, yeah, just got to get it out, really. Up and down here would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Go on. Go, go, go. That had so much spin on it. Holy smokes. Talk about a tricky pin position, this one. Holy smokes. Too hard. Done. All right. Blob the last. What a joy. And that one's called 16 on the front, 21 on the back, and on the count back, Dave Hill. Ah, lucky him. We are back in the car, guys, and I don't know what you got from that prize giving, but effectively, I was in a category for guests because it was my first year playing in the event, and uh, I actually came third. So there was two people joint on 37 points, and I came in on 36. So we did actually achieve our uh, goal of shooting 36 points. Um, really, really happy, actually. Uh, it just fell apart on that last hole, uh, which was a little bit frustrating. Really, really frustrating, but... It is what it is. Um, very happy with how I played today. Um, definitely how I was striking the irons. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And if you want to see another video from me, well, then just click right here.